On behalf of a grateful and appreciative community, I am very proud to proclaim August 24, 2023 as Mike Randall Day in the city of Buffalo. Oh, thank, yeah. you very much. thank you. Well, a very special surprise for a very special colleague during 7 News at 5 to honor Mike Randall's, can you believe it, final day here at Channel 7. Yeah, how do you sum up a 40-year career that took Mike across the country, allowing him to meet thousands of you and share your stories? If you've ever seen his stories or if you ever met him, it's not an easy task, right? But there are a few people who work with Mike more than former Channel 7 reporter Ed Riley. Ed's going to take us through the last four decades with our guy, Mike Randall. All this week, our man Mike Randall has been putting forth a musical question. As Mike Randall tells us, it's right in our own backyard. And of course, our Mike Randall was there and has the story. We've heard his name announced like thousands that. of times on Channel 7. Time really flies when you're having fun, and that definitely is the case for our man Mike Randall. Mike Randall, one of the most talented people to ever work at WKBW-TV. In the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s, I was part of the Eyewitness News photography team. Together, we helped Mike shoot hundreds of feature stories. You know, ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be part of the Eyewitness News team. When Mike came to the station in 1983, he brought with him a background in theater, including once playing the role of the marvelous magical Burger King. He also worked in Hartford, Connecticut, and Roanoke, Virginia, as a co-host for PM Magazine. With over a thousand attractions here at the Erie County Fair this year, it seems like everybody you talk to is here for a different reason. Having a chance to work in his hometown offered Mike a wonderful opportunity, but he had some big shoes to fill. The previous feature reporter, Don Pollock, with his zany reporting style, was a fan favorite. Can I say hi to Earth? Oh, sure, go ahead. Hi, Earth! <laughs> it was not a problem. From the moment Mike Randall first appeared on Eyewitness News, he captured the hearts of viewers. She professionally repairs all kinds of dolls for individuals and museums. With a knack for interviewing interesting people, like the stars of the legendary TV show Leave it to Beaver and game show superstar host Wink Martindale. Don't miss Mike Randall's Game Show Fever on Eyewitness News Nightcast. When our man Mike Randall scored a one-on-one -on -one interview with the late, great John Candy. Film at 11. With humor and a willingness to try most anything, Mike Randall routinely ended the nightly newscast with fun local stories, trying things like whitewater rafting in Letchworth State Park. It's a tidal wave. Or riding the old Comet roller coaster at Crystal Beach Amusement Park backwards. Whoa! Mike's on the road reporting took him all over our region and across the country. So I'll have a live eye report on how we semi greats are doing at the Goofy Games. Give me four, Goofy. <laughs> he was there in Dallas capturing the flavor of the 1984 Republican National Convention when it nominated President Ronald Reagan for another term. No matter where you travel, you bring home memories with you. Curious about how famous game shows get made? Yes, my friends, it's Game Show Fever. It was Mike Randall who took us behind the scenes of Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune. Why pay for cable when it's on free TV? Working with Mike was a great adventure because everything was interesting, different, and fun. So uh, how do you like working here? Did I hit any of them? Oh yeah, all of them. Even when things did not go as planned, the outtakes were hilarious. Don't miss my very scary Halloween special. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Where's the beef? Ah! <laughs> when you spend as much time traveling and working together as Mike and I did, you learn a lot about each other. For me, it was discovering what a good person Mike Randall is and how his life mission is to make people smile with stories, magic, and puppets. Now, instead of just watching or taping movies, you can make your own. Mike came to the station at a great time. Video technology was exploding in the 80s and 90s. Okay, but, but you're a tad, a tad close. Yeah, just a little. For reporters like Mike, it was a fascinating tool that made it possible to do video effects unlike any scene on local newscasts before. Hey, yo. And who could forget all the times that Mike used his theater experience to transform himself into a character for his story? How about the UB ghost? Or his Boris Karloff takeoff? Do you think ghosts are fake? 
Thinking like that could be a grave mistake. A 19th century sailing captain. Well, you're just the sort of man I'm looking for. Yeah, oh, no, really, I was, uh, I was just looking. <laughs> Nonsense! Come with me, young man. And even John Wayne. Well, let's get them wagons in a circle. <laughs> They were all unique Mike Randall performances, especially one of his favorite characters, Mark Twain. We are fortunate indeed to have Mr. Twain himself describe it for us right now, Mark. Well, it is a great pleasure to be here. It is a character Mike still impersonates, along with Charles Dickens, as part of his one-man show. I always try to eat foods that do not agree with me until one or the other of us give up. Over his 40-year career at KB, Mike helped initiate the Buffalo Market's first morning show newscast in 1989, co-hosting originally with Ann Edwards and later with Sheila Mahoney, two ladies who never knew what to expect from the always silly Mike Randall. When that happens, you'll know it right away. Shingles causes knife-like pain in the... Would you, you know... It's a long, long stand-up. In 1991, Mike Randall and Bob Stilson helped revive the popular Channel 7 kids show, Rocket Ship 7. Good morning, Space Cadets. It's Saturday morning time once again for Rocket Ship 7. Captain Mike here. In 1999, Mike took over for Tom Joles as the station's chief meteorologist. That meant tackling weather outside duties both in the station's parking lot and on numerous live shot locations. Our AccuWeather forecast and probably whatever Mike feels like doing. Neither rain nor snow nor windy weather kept Mike from giving us a live outdoor forecast. But sometimes bees could make it challenging. The Buffalo Broadcasters Association is proud to induct Mike Randall into the 2017 class of the Hall of Fame. Behind the scenes, Mike's passion for entertaining is supported by his love loving wife Kathy and sons Nick, Ben and Adam. Of course, when you have a close family, it's only natural to incorporate them into your work. There's Kathy Randall playing a zombie in a Mike Randall ghost story. And Kathy made sure we did not fall out of the white water raft with the station's expensive videotape equipment. Oh, God! Remember the legend of Angola's pig man who haunts a remote section of road? Well, the music for that Mike Randall story was composed and sung by his son, Nick. In recent years, Mike continued traveling throughout Western New York, searching out interesting people and places. Tonight's work of art is called Serengeti. Now, everyone is gonna be a little bit different, but everyone's gonna be a masterpiece. I said everyone's going to be a masterpiece. Well, he might not be as adventurous as that risk-taking young reporter who wowed us in 1983. No! No! He's still a driven professional who loves to entertain and spend time camping in our New York State parks. Last year when that shark girl statue came to town, it caused quite a controversy. So, as we send Mike Randall into retirement with our thanks and best wishes, it is a good time to think about his legacy. A legacy built on seeing the uniqueness of everyday people. I built this about 25 years ago. Appreciating the beauty of Western New York. Not even Hollywood wizards could fake a backdrop like that. And finding the adventure that awaits us in everyday life. They say the difference between men and boys is the size of their toys. Best wagon ride I ever had. When you think about it, Maybe that is what our troubled world needs. More Mike Randalls. So I guess you could say that this story is all wrapped up. <laughs> Happy retirement, my friend. Ed Riley for 7 News. It's impossible to watch that and not be in awe of everything you've accomplished over the last 40 years. Mike Randall, the man of the hour with his family here, both his family and his his co-workers. We have a little cake for you here. That's Mike, a huge cake. Little cake. Years. That's but, enough uh, cake for uh, every TV station in town. It's, but what do you say after, you know, such a I, I have to say a couple things. I have to say a lot of thank yous. Uh, first of all, thank you to all of you, my family that's here today, my wife especially, who's put up with me working from home the last few years and comes up with most of my good story ideas, Kathy, uh, my partner for over 40 years, and seriously, my uh, assignment editor. Thank you to Ed Riley for the most amazing piece, because the first time I saw that, I was in, I was in tears. I was like, Ed, I can't believe you don't even work. He doesn't even have a job anymore, and he sat at home <laughs> looking at me, putting that piece together. You know, what a labor of love, uh, and just a great guy. We're going to be camping with Ed and his Wonderful. wife, Pam, in a few weeks. Uh, and thank you to 
the people behind the scenes, all the photographers that I worked with over the years that you know, helped me put those pieces on the air and make them look great. Nancy Sanders, she's the only reason, she's a former uh, news director many times, uh, assistant news director, she's the only reason I ever won any awards because she would send all the award tapes out. When she left, I was like, I never won any more awards because <laughs> sending out the tapes was like doing homework. But thank you to uh, the crew, everybody that we worked with on the morning show. I spent 10 years on morning shows here. Uh, been at, you know, 10, 10 years filling in for Tom after he retired, then five more years on the morning show. So a lot of time in these studios, and uh, I just love this place. It's in my DNA, <laughs> and uh, I hope I see everybody. If you see me out there, you know, at a grocery store or whatever, uh, thank the viewers, because uh, you guys have been great to put up with me for all this time. And there are people that have been watching me for 40 years. Yeah. That's scary. Well, if you Google your name, it says entertainer. So oh, I have news for you. You can't, re you're not retiring. There's anything. no business like show business. <laughs> and your granddaughter here, Nina, told me he's always performing, isn't he? We're going to start a family mm -hmm. band, right? Because she's a really good singer. And I got all, all my boys are musicians, so. Uh, all your boys, you know. introduce your boys yeah. here. Cause yeah. they... We have Ben over there. Nick's over there, raise your hand. Ben over there. My daughter-in-law, Alicia's over Hi, there. Elizabeth my granddaughters, Little. Casey and Nina. And we have another one on the way. Woohoo! Adam. Congratulations. And, did I say Adam? No. Oh, Adam, sorry. <laughs> well, thank you for all you've done for Western New York and all of us here at Channel 7. Mike, we love you, buddy. Yeah, we all always right, call you, you our man, Mike Randall, and you said he's your man. My man, Mike Randall. <laughs> Enjoy. Good night.